What's up everyone, Train Freak here, and today I'm going to do a product review. Um, so, before we get to it, um, I always want to remind everyone, you know, hey, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, fill in the bell, you get future announcements on all, all of my videos in the future, you know, whether they're layout updates, which I try to do weekly, um, I rarely do these how-tos, or not how-tos, but product reviews. I also do how-tos as well. And, um, you know, any of the other videos I do as well. So, um, yeah, just make sure you do that. And then feel free to comment if you want to. And then I'd also like to say thank you to the extended supporters of my channel because they're the ones that help fund all the contests and uh, things when I do my giveaways every 100 subscribers that I hit. So... And uh, congratulations, Mike Pringle. You did claim your prize, and I will get that sent to you ASAP. So let's talk about the item that I want to review today. Now, when we think about a train, a model train or a real train, moving ballast, there's a, there's a few different cars that you can use. Typically, what a lot of people end up using are these open hoppers. Just a standard, whoops, standard open hopper. And I don't know if that's going to zoom in or not. Let's see if it, there we go. So SP, that is because I model the Southern Pacific. Um, one, this, the, one of the railroads I model, I do model the Cotton Belt, which is a subsidiary of the Southern Pacific, so all their stuff looks the same. Um, but this is one of the ways that you could, you know, transport ballast uh, from you know part of your railroad to another and on the bottom here they would the ballast would unload out of these hatches well a different car that I'm looking for is called the Diffco dump car and I have one this is a Walther's Diffco dump car and I have been looking for these for a very long time I would say at least Six months, I put two different saved searches on eBay to see if anything ever come up. One of those saved searches happens to be uh, these four letters right there. Let's see if I can get it to come up. There we go. SPMW, which stands for Southern Pacific Maintenance Away. And, of course, this is car number 7680. I've seen duplicates of these cars come up on a consistent basis. Now, this car here is actually a fourth car that Walters made. They only made, I think, four of these. I could be wrong, but only four. And the way these cars work is, um, and this one does not work, I mean, of course. I mean, the corners are all solid. But you can see these little hinges here, and the side would fold down. And then on the bottom, you got these little four things. That would actually cause the car to tip on one side. So that way it, you know, it tips and it comes up and it dumps or kind of like that. And um, to give you a cool, I've seen a video recently on YouTube and what I'm going to do is link a card up in the channel to that video so that way you can actually see what these cars do in real life. Um, but basically this one here, and I don't have my box with me because it's put up. But what I wanted to show was I recently acquired a three-car kit. And like I said, I've been searching for SPMW and Diffco for six months consistently. Because when I did my maintenance away train a long time ago, I was like, one Diffco dump car is just not enough. Especially when I've got three or four gondolas being pulled behind a crane and only one ballast car so I was hoping to score at least two more and I was thinking that that number there was a pretty common number because it's seven six eight zero typically any time a number ends with a zero or a five it's it's a pretty common so I saw this one come up and you could say this is a mail call if you wanted to because I just unboxed it and it came with three cars all SPMWs just like this one but the numbers are seven six eight five I told you if it ends with a zero or five it's normally a common car 
7688 and 7682. So this will actually give me four, a total of four of these. And I'm hoping to try to find or I might consider making some ballast loads uh, for these. And so I just wanted to do just a basic product review. I don't typically have to open that three pack to show you everything. But you can see how the bottom is ribbed. Uh, you've got your air tank here. Uh, that's the brake cylinder uh, right here, the little one. And really, I don't know what all these things are. Um, Dakman, I'm sure you know. Why don't you help me out here? <laughs> but um, on the ends, of course, you got a brake wheel. This is the B end. And it's not, this is plastic, it's not metal. I'm uh, wondering if they might have done the platinum, platinum line if they would have made metal. Um, but the stirrups are on there. And then, of course, I'm going to see if I can get in. There we go. You can see the writing is pretty, pretty good. You know, two-inch comp shoes. Uh, load limit, 18, see, 187,000 pounds. Or it might be 76,000 pounds for LT. WT. I'm assuming weight. Um, and then of course we got some writing on this side as well. And the build date's very small to see, but you can see um, looks like capacity 1,350 maybe cubic yards. I would assume. Uh, to look at the build date, I'm gonna have to put this under a magnifying glass, and I don't have one attached to a camera. And then, of course, the other end, and both ends, um, ooh, looks like it's trying to, ah, my piece was coming loose. There we go. Get that back on there. There we go. It's got the reporting marks at the top right on this side here, and then it also has uh, some information. Oh, it tells you what size wheels. So, uh, let's see. 36s. So these would use 36 inch wheels. Which I'm wondering if these are got 33s on them. And if they do, then I might have to swap these 33s for 36s. Something I'm going to have to look into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unbox the other three and we're going to pull a train with it. You know, why don't we just have a, I got a GP35. And I'll just have that GP35 uh, pull these four cars. I think that'll look pretty cool. So I will be back here in a few minutes.
All right, so you can tell that having more of those Diffco dump cars on the back end of that maintenance away train really does that train more justice. So these, in my opinion, are a great addition if you have any, you know, if you got a maintenance away train of some type on your layout, um, definitely a must have. If, if you're not going to do those, you know, you can definitely get by with these. But these are just not as cool, in my opinion, in my freakish opinion. So, other than that, I'm going to let y'all have at it. Uh, I hope y'all have a great week, rest of the week. Uh, be safe out there. Thank you again, uh, Patreon, Teespring, and PayPal supporters. I really appreciate y'all uh, helping keep, you know, this channel rolling and whatnot. And then also, if you haven't, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, bell, thumbs up, comment. And if you do want to become an extended supporter, check the links down in the description. So other than that, y'all be safe out there and happy railroading.